My name is Darren Adams and I'm an instant engineer for IMR Hosting. So my day-to-day -day job includes dealing with Severity 1 to 4 issues for customers. So Severity 1 issues could be with could be dealing with uh, host downs, platform outages, and uh, you know a, a four could be dealing with you know a disk increase for a customer or potential looking into their monitoring system to see exactly why something isn't being picked up correctly as it should be. So I can say my my day my day is pretty broad. Um, I also work for the instant sorry the change team. Uh, who deal with um, you know more kind of more complex requests from customers, uh, which require scoping out and going to change advisory, so they can you know say this is a high priority or it's more of a simpler task actually than we thought. So uh, that would be you know designed up, steps would be written in how it's all done, and then it'd be passed over to um, one of the members of the change team or someone who actually has the experience in doing it before, so they can then document it for the future. I get into IT originally but just be playing games. Um, it might sound a bit weird, but I used to host the RuneScape servers, private servers, and Minecraft servers, um, which required you know a bit of tinkering to set up originally. And when I get up to the point where I could understand that I could maybe do more and more, you know, breaking things that have already broken, replacing parts and like my equipment, um, building gaming computers as well for uh, for a start. That that was one of the my big. Uh, original things was building my own gaming computer, but uh, the way I got actually into IT after that was going through an apprenticeships with QA apprenticeships. Originally it was meant to be a software developer, but I ended up finding out I was actually more better at the uh, hardware and you know, support side of it. So I, I, maybe this makes me stand out for the rest because most of my colleagues that I speak to on a day-to-day -day basis all went through university or college then university before they got to where they were so I, I was more of a kind of working role where I learned on the job going to be honest I was never really book smart um, I'm not one to you know sit at a desk all day it's a bit um, rich considering I do sit at a desk all day but you know I'm not one for who sits reading questions and looking up um, study guides and everything like that, that, that wasn't out of me and originally but I, I'm getting better at it, I'm, also I am better at it now but I was more of a hands-on learner so I did better as I was working so you know Q Apprenticeships got me where I am today, I've, I've been for, worked for three companies prior to working to IMR just now, working my way from you know first second line service desk to a senior second line service desk to now um, to a, a t tech three with IMR and the service request team to the instant change team now um, so I've I worked my way quite a, a fair bit since uh, you know starting my way out in IT uh, so working with IMR I have the keys to the kingdom and it gives me access to so many technologies that we use for our customers this can range from you know Barracuda firewalls to Cisco firewalls, uh, Windows uh, virtual machines to you know Linux virtual machines, all ranging from Server two thousand and eight to twenty twelve to twenty nineteen, and you know the many flavors of Linux that there is, such as you know CentOS, Ubuntu, Rocky. That some of them you know they're all mainly built. Some of them are both built in the same kind of way, but they're different, and you know each one. Is different for each you know system that you use. Uh, as I said, IMR has got so many technologies to be used for customers, and I'm grateful for the you know the, the chance to actually jump onto a customer's platform and actually be trusted by my you know managers and other colleagues here to say you may not have did it before, but we're here. There's run books, there's guides, and but we're here if you need a help. We need any help. So it definitely, I'd say it's getting into ITs. If you're a problem solver, or you like tinkering, or you know you just enjoy working with computers, then I'd say definitely IT could could be a potential career path in the future for you. So if I had anything to say, you know, to younger younger Darren, um, it would be keep what you're doing. Uh, Maybe try study a bit more in school and do a bit better there, uh, but 
at the end, the end of the day, you got where you wanted to be and you're still progressing at this day and age. However, what I would say to younger Darren as well is there's there's so many jobs out there. You have to do X number of you know certifications. Uh, I can say for myself, there's been some jobs where I said, you might have the physical experience, but that doesn't prove to me that you actually know it. I, I, we can't just take a word for it. Some some companies do, some companies don't. Whereas, I'm, as I said, I'm happy for Imar. They took taken my word and said that I had the experience and I was happy to learn. So yeah, definitely, if you've got the, the chance to do your exams, such as your, your Microsoft exams, your, your Cisco exams, don't put them off, do them. And it will definitely help you in the future. I'm currently doing my Microsoft exams just now. I uh, kind of wish I did them earlier, but that, that's me, uh, you know, and they, they will help me, they'll, they'll, they'll build up my stature in the company, uh, it also helps the company out with, you know, Microsoft uh, qualifications, etc. for our teams and, uh, and get different partnerships, etc. But I, I'm happy for what I did and how, how I got to IMR, uh, and Probably the best piece of advice that I have ex experienced from my career is it's okay to be wrong, especially in the IT world. Not everyone's going to know every single thing about every single part of IT. And don't be afraid to ask for help because if you're too afraid to ask for help, you're probably not going to, you know, progress further than you already are. Take a dive, take, a, take on the challenge and actually you know challenge yourself without challenging yourself then as I said you're not going to progress so maybe at the start for me I didn't challenge myself as much but I'm definitely getting a challenge now <laughs> and you know I'm working I'm working hard each day and I'm getting there well Thanks everyone for listening and I hope you have a wonderful day.